Hello, my name is Sarah and I got rid of my TV two months ago. And this is a video about why and how and what it's been like. If you're thinking of getting rid of your TV, because I wanted to find videos about it and there were like none. Well, there were like a few, but not enough. I wanted more opinions. So here is my opinion on why I got rid of my TV and why you might want to too. If you've seen my flat tour, then you will know that I used to have a big TV right over here. Right in the middle, actually. It was a very central TV. And I loved it. I loved it so much that it took up a lot of my time. So I'd get home from work after a stressful day. I would get home and I would sit on that sofa and I would put on some suits or Modern Family or The Office and I would just watch and numb my feelings, escape, laugh, like genuinely enjoy myself. The only issue would be that four hours later, when it's like 2 a.m., 1 a.m., I'd be going to bed, getting like five, six hours sleep, waking up the next morning, going back to work nice and early in for 8 a.m. and I would be exhausted. And this was happening far too much. You know, if you're doing it once in a while, great, but it got to the point where when I was sitting down and reflecting on how my 2023 had been, I was like, I spent a lot of time watching Suits. Like I got to like season seven of Suits in way too short of a period of time, like probably in about four to six weeks. And I was like, oh, okay, that's fine, that's great. If you have the time for that. I had goals that require, I still have goals that require a lot of time, a lot of investment of my time and energy. And while watching TV is amazing and literally I wanna be making TV and films and series and all of that, that's like what I wanna do as an actress. I'm a doctor and an actress by the way, if it's confusing and late last year I was doing a lot of medical hours on the ward and whatnot. So my escapism was coming home and um, yeah binge watching shows so I'm like yeah that's amazing I love that I want to contribute to that I want to give people a form of escapism however if I want to be in suits I probably need to spend a little bit less time watching suits and like pursuing goals you know I need to like get my life together um and it was also an addiction I feel like I don't want to say addiction because that sounds really deep but I do think like for me if I can't control something if I can't step away from something then it's becoming a problem I should have you know, God has made us conscious, active beings. He's given us autonomy. I should be able to use the gifts God gave me to choose what I do and when. And my love and enjoyment of TV was preventing me from doing that. Like I'd get home and be like, oh, I'm gonna do this, this, that, and this. And then instead I would watch TV. So as much as I was grateful for having the world's best setup, I was like, I need a little bit more friction in my enjoyment of these things so that I can choose them. So that if I'm gonna sit down, and I still do, by the way, if I'm gonna sit down, and watch a film or watch a series, it's gonna be intentional. I'm gonna say, hey, next week, Saturday, I'm not leaving my sofa, I'm watching TV and I'm gonna choose that rather than next week, so next week, Saturday, I'm gonna do all these amazing things and then I find myself watching TV instead. So that was the problem, that was the problem. And me being me, I like a fix. I like, I like a fix. I like to fix a problem, call her Bob the Builder. She'll fix it. I want to fix that song. Um, but yeah, I like, to, I like to solve things. I'm a big believer in like taking active, intentional, almost aggressive responsibility for one's own life. Like, I don't want to be out here saying, oh, I would have done this, but this, but this, but what, baby? It's your life, Sarah, get it together. So I was like, do you know what? I'm just going to get rid of the TV. If I can't control how much TV I, I use, I'll just get rid of it. I'll just get rid of it because I'm of the mindset that you know, if you dropped me off, if you're like addicted to scrolling on your phone, if someone dropped you off in the middle of the Sahara Desert with, you know, enough food and water, but no technology, your addiction to your phone would be gone pretty quick because you literally don't have the option. So I'm like, I think that I might be a little bit addicted to binge watching TV series. Guess what? If you don't have a TV, you can't binge watch them. And um, so I took it down, I took down the TV and I put some shelves up and I've got some videos of that, me putting up the shelves, which was like a whole journey in itself because, you know, I personally, um, <clears throat> have never desired to be a DIY girl, but somehow have found myself, probably due to the fact that I've lived alone for so long, I found myself doing a lot of DIY and I put up these shelves. You might be watching this thinking, Sarah, baby girl, but you're an actress, you need to be creative and exploring and learning more. And I agree, however, I think there are different ways to do that. And for me, I know that what I need to be doing is reading more books because reading requires focus, it increases your imagination, you see different worlds. And while TV and film is amazing, I know that for me right now, I need to be reading more books. So I was like, 
I'm going to get rid of the TV and I'm going to put up these shelves. And putting up these shelves as well is pretty intentional because it means that I can't just put the TV back up because it no longer fits. So they're here to stay. Um, so I bought some shelves, um, which are actually really gorgeous and I'll show you. Actually, let me show you now because otherwise I won't show you because I say those things. I'm like, hey, I'll show you the shelves in a sec and then I just never do it. So these are the shelves. They're pretty sturdy. I put them up myself, three of them. They look gorgeous. Can you see them? Focus. Um, they're pretty sturdy and they're asymmetrical and I kind of love them to be honest. I think they were right. I was like, I'll put some books on this so that when I get home from a long day, I can still be comfortable, I can still relax. But the thing that is closest, the thing that there is the least friction to me doing is picking up a book and reading. I also still have my speaker here. So what I tend to do now when I get home and I've had a long day and I'm feeling stressed, I get home, I turn on my speakers, I put on some jazz music, I light my candles, I grab a book and I put on the fireplace and I read. I read. I'm not going to lie to you. Sometimes I read one page and I fall asleep. But that's okay too because that means that's what I should be doing. And reading is such a relaxing and gentle way of entertaining yourself that actually if your body is saying, baby girl, we shouldn't be entertaining, we should be sleeping, then your body can simply go to sleep. At first, do you know what the biggest difference I found when getting rid of my TV was? It felt like a thousand people had just moved out. Like it felt like, you know when people talk about like feng shui and energies and stuff, it felt like a load of energy that used to live on this wall right here was just gone. And the place felt a little eerie and quiet. So I was playing a lot of music at first because I was like, I need to have music on. I need something to replace that. And I was going to also get like a turntable um, so I could play vinyls and put up some vinyls here. Obviously this place has not been decorated yet. I do need to decorate this space, but... It is what it is for now. But yeah, the thing I noticed the most was the lack of energy. In terms of do I still watch TV? I do. I actually do still watch TV. I have my laptop and I will um, watch things on my laptop. I'm not going to lie to you, that is not a permanent solution. I watched The Little Mermaid on my laptop and I was like, this deserves better. I cannot believe that I'm watching The Little Mermaid, this huge theatrical experience on this tiny screen. However, I do plan on fixing that and getting a projector. I just simply haven't got around to it. I plan on getting a projector. I just need to drop off my TV somewhere else because um, the TV's just in the other room at the moment, wrapped up, ready to go. It's just really big and I can't get it into the car by myself. So I'm gonna get like a projector and a big screen here. And the thought is, the hope is, that the amount of effort it takes for me to set up the projector to watch something will mean that I can only watch things that I'm being intentional about. And all of these ideas, in terms of reducing friction and increasing friction. They come from the book Atomic Habits, which I love. I think it's one of the greatest self-help, self-improvement books of all time. Personally, I just think the way it's written, the ideas, the consolidation, the evidence, just all of it, I find to be a beautiful example of a self-help book. So if you haven't read Atomic Habits and like me, you're into all of this like self-improvement and taking active, aggressive, aggressive is such a harsh word, proactive, intentional, responsibility for your life and you know the areas where you're like oh I could do better in this then I highly recommend reading Atomic Habits it gives you really good insights I probably need to reread it I've read that book like seven times but I probably need to reread it because it gives you really good insights into like how you actually build your life into what you want it to be but also how you build yourself into who you want to be because the life that you live and um, while other people can affect us and influence us we, we can also affect ourselves and influence ourselves so who we are can often have a lot of effect on the type of life that we live. For me, if there are things in my life that I'm not happy with, I try to turn around and be like, okay, who am I being? Who am I being? And why is it resulting in a life that I am unhappy with? I find the book Atomic Habits really, really good for that. The things in Atomic Habits that led to me getting rid of my TV are the principles of whatever you do as a habit is the life that you'll have, right? So I, as a habit, was watching too much TV, which meant that I wasn't reading and writing enough. So habits we do them for a reason because we get rewards for them the book explains this that you do something because it gives you a, a reward so I accepted that my habit of binge watching tv was because it gave me escapism and a real feeling of comfort from the stress of my job as a doctor as a junior doctor and that's not a bad thing I deserve rest and escapism but the truth is that there are multiple ways to rest and to escape after a stressful day and I wanted a more beneficial way of resting and escaping and I decided that reading and listening to music would be a much more peaceful, sustainable, productive way of me resting and escaping. Um, and so when it comes to changing habits, one good way of changing a habit is to increase the friction that it takes you to do the bad habit. So for me right now, if I wanted to binge watch The Office right now, I'd have to go and get my massive bulky TV, 
put the stand back up, blah, 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 blah. And that would be way too much effort. By the time I've done that, like, I can't be bothered. No one's, no one's traveling land and sea to binge watch The Office. Um, so I've increased the friction it takes for me to do the habit that I want to break. And I'm reducing the friction that it takes, so the amount of effort, basically, friction is just how much effort it takes. I'm reducing the amount of effort it takes for me to do the things that I do want to do. For example, reading. The book is right there. It's right there, the sofa's right there. So there, it's so much less effort for me to read. And yeah, those are kind of the principles. If you want me to talk more about like increasing good habits, reducing bad habits, then I can totally do that. But honestly, just get the book because it's perfect. Um, but so far, I would recommend it. I, do, I truly recommend it. Also, I can't take full credit for this idea in terms of getting rid of my TV. I have this amazing friend. Oh, she's so amazing and beautiful. Um, her and her husband don't have a TV. Uh, they have a projector, but they don't have a TV. And I remember once I had a spare TV and I offered it to them and they were like, oh no, we, we actually just don't want a TV. We like reading and da da da. I remember thinking, oh, good for you and just not really thinking much of it. But then when it got to the point where I was like, oh, I'm doing this too much. I was like, oh yeah, I don't have to. <laughs> I don't have to have a TV in my house. Like it's something by God's grace. I'm very grateful. My brother is just a blessing to me and gives me stuff and he gave me this insane TV. So obviously I'm going to be like, yes. Um, but I don't have to, and if it's not benefiting me, then I can I can remove it for a little bit. And I think I'm gonna continue with it. And also what I love is that when people come to visit, another benefit, I feel like I've done this video so jumbly, but another benefit of me now not having a TV is that when people come to visit, it's not an option. <laughs> like, like, it's like, oh, we can't just watch TV. Like, we have to sit and chat, and I love that. And you know, since then I've actually redecorated my space. If you've watched my flat video, then you can probably tell it's changed a little bit. It's very asymmetric. There's a lot more color in the room now. Um, and I've actually added two chairs as well, just to really circle off the space because the center of the room is no longer the TV. The center is the other people that you're spending time with in this room. I do still want a vinyl. I do still want records. I do still want to, you know, decorate this space that's now been created. But in terms of my restfulness and my function, I feel like I've really been able to take that time that I was using binge watching episodes, which are amazing. I still love The Office. I think it's hilarious. Um, but I've been able to take that time that I spent binge watching series and be more intentional with it. So now when I do watch something, I'm not left with a load of guilt afterwards of like, oh, I just wasted four hours of my youth. Instead, I can watch something and then I can say, okay, that's done. That's it. And I put my laptop away and I have this environment. I actually think I use this room a lot more now because it's so peaceful. I come in and I sit, I don't feel that itchy need to turn on the TV and scroll. I can actually just sit with my own thoughts, which initially felt empty <laughs> and felt like there was something missing, but now feels really calming. So I say all that to say, if you are thinking of getting rid of your TV, try it. Like I, I loved it, I've loved it. I've loved it. I still pay my TV license in case I want to watch stuff on BBC iPlayer. I still have my, I'm not gonna lie, my brother's accounts <laughs> for Netflix and, and Disney. You know, I'm not exiting technology, but I do find that it has made me so much more intentional. And I really appreciate that. It's not perfect yet, but I'm loving it so far. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm trying to upload more, so I'm not gonna overthink it. So I was for faffing with my hair. I was just like, I don't even know what I'm doing with my hair today. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you want to see more like an updated flat tour, let me know and I can film that, edit that and post that for you. If you want to see, oh my gosh, I need to do a study tour because I have a walking desk that has changed my life that I really want to tell you about. But yeah, thanks for living life with me as a 30 year old woman growing, forever learning and trying new things. And I really enjoy sharing them with you. Okay, love you so much. Have a beautiful day. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.